In this lecture, we will learn how to compute sample size for hypothesis tests based on risk factors and the purpose of the test. We just covered the concepts of alpha, beta and delta. Right now, we are going to apply these concepts. We have a scenario of a destructive testing process which means the number of samples that I can collect have a limitation. So coming back in a one sample t-test which consists of a very expensive destructive testing as I mentioned earlier, only three samples were collected and the sigma value was found to be 0.4 units. What is sigma here? It is the variation. So the team has decided that their test should be able to detect a true difference of at least one sigma. So the delta is going to be one sigma. If I say one sigma, then that would be 